What's up guys, Drake here with Drake's Detailing and I'm back again with another product review. Oh yeah. What is it? Oh. Got some pads, some more pads. We got pads for days. All right, let's go. We got the charger, we got a battery, battery, got the adapter. Guys, like always, if you get any value out of this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification, and also share these on Facebook, guys. That's the only way we're gonna grow is if we share and word of mouth. That's the best, that's the best way to grow. Well, guys, today's video is gonna be about the Flex PXE80. I have owned this machine now for about maybe five months, and I wasn't quick to make a review video because I didn't know how I'd actually like it in a real world setting. But guys, I've used this product multiple times on multiple different applications. I've used it on cars, I've used it on RVs. I'm gonna mainly make this video guarding to boats and how I think this product is good, but also could be you know, kind of better when it comes to boat detailing. Now, I'm not getting paid by Flex. Uh, they are not paying me. This is an honest 100% opinion. I bought this with all my own money, so no one's actually paying me to say good or bad things about this product. So with all that being said, let's hop right into the review. First thing, this review is not going to be really about specs and all the intricate little details about that you can find that at detailedimage.com where I link this product down below where you can purchase it if you would like go over the specs um, I'm gonna just go ahead and give you dumb knowledge and how this thing works turns on and all that kind of good stuff it's super easy this is a battery operated machine it does come with a spare battery and a charger in the kit um, and it does come with some pads and a bag and the whole nine. So it is a really cool kit that you get. You don't just get the machine, you get two batteries, you get a charger, you get pads, and you get a little bag to you know kind of carry it with. Now, when I did buy a battery powered operated thing, I, I was super skeptical. I'm like, man, does this thing actually, is it gonna work? Because all I work all day and when we're doing big boats, guys, we don't have time to be charging stuff and you know, uh, things dying on us. It just makes it very impractical if, if that's happening. I will say, if you have the charger plugged in with a battery on the charger and you use this machine, as soon as this one's dead, the next one is charged ready to go. I have used this in a way where I, have, I had to use it for about four hours at a time and literally as it would die i would just go jump off the boat put a new battery in and go to work i never had to wait for it to charge it worked out perfectly every single time when it comes to battery life one thing i have noticed when you use a three inch pad on it with the three inch backing plate, I have noticed that the battery dies a lot faster than when you're using the one inch backing plate with a one inch pad. I'm guessing that has something to do with the torque because it takes more power to push the three inch backing plate than it does the one inch. So I'm guessing that's kind of where that comes in. When it comes to running a three inch pad versus a one inch pad, I'm going to say guys that this is a one inch pad machine, not necessarily a good three inch pad machine. Now you can use the three inch and the one inch you were looking for a machine to mainly run a three inch pad I don't know if I'd actually recommend this machine. You're probably gonna be better off with a quarter one only because the battery runs out in about 15 minutes running the three inch pad, whereas you'll get about 30 minutes to 45 minutes with the one inch pad. So keeping it basic, this kit comes with a one inch backing plate and a three inch backing plate. You can order, I believe, a two inch backing plate, but in the kit, it does come with a one and a three inch backing plate. This machine, which is really cool about it, can be used as a rotary with this adapter it has a three millimeter uh, orbital throw with this adapter or a 12 millimeter throw with this adapter. You can have an orbital three inch or you can have a rotary one inch. It's really cool. One of the biggest things that I hated that is a super downfall and I don't know why I tried to contact Flex and no one ever got back to me. I tried calling them, but I think all this COVID stuff, you know, maybe they're out. But guys, the three inch backing plate, I don't know if you can see there, it's, it's, it's filled in where the threads are. The rotary adapter here has like a little pin inside of it. I don't know if you can see that little pin and you can't do it. So you cannot use this machine with the three inch backing plate as a rotary. You can only use it as a DA. 
You can use the one inch on the rotary adapter, but you cannot use the three inch on the rotary adapter. All the other videos I ever looked up on cars, cause you can find all kind of other review videos on cars. No one ever said this. And I, I honestly don't know why. Now I will say, you can mod these. You can take a drill and drill that out and put it on the rotary. Now, the only reason why I did not do that is because I have a feeling it's going to wear out the motor in this sucker very quickly. If you put the rotary adapter on the three inch, I think it's going to be, it's going to cause too much torque. And I think the motor in here will burn out. I do not know that for sure. So don't hold my feet to the fire when it comes to that. But I'm going to say if you put the rotary adapter on the three inch, you're probably going to shorten the life of this machine drastically. When I use this machine, I only use it for very specific things. I don't use it on big surfaces. I don't do it on the whole boat. I'm only using this machine practically on transoms and center consoles. This machine is a must have when it comes to center consoles. You can use a big uh, rotary with a one inch extension rod and one inch plate. You can do all that. Or you could take this little machine right here and you can get in everything on center console. I have noticed, however, when I'm using this, I typically don't use the DA setting. I'm only ever really using the one inch pad on the rotary adapter. This machine is battery operated. It has a switch on the back and all your volumes are right here. So you can see all that. It's really cool guys and it stays. So if you put it on the two setting and then you turn it off, when you turn it back on, it's gonna be back on that same setting. Another cool thing about this product, it fits in your hand very nice. I don't know if you can see this lip right here, but it really fits in your hand nice to be able to get in tight spots. You can use it one-handed and it's super light. I mean, this thing is, I mean, it practically feels like nothing, but it does not feel cheap. It feels very well made and very comfortable in your hand. Now you may be saying, okay, so what pads can I use? What pads should I not use? I only use Lake Country force rotation pads on this or I use Lake Country microfiber pads. So I have two here. These are the cutting and the finishing microfibers for the three inch and I have an array of stuff in my truck but this is the one inch pads that you can use and guys you just use it like you normally would. Let me talk about all the applications I had. Like I said earlier I use it for transoms and the really tight spots. I use them for center consoles getting around all the gauges and getting like all around, like in between your radar and, and, and radios, guys, it's perfect. It's one inch in between those gaps. So you can literally polish in and out those, those gauges perfectly. Another thing I love using it for is metal. I like to use it on the uh, Zephyr Pro 40. Guys, you can do rims, you can do chrome bumpers, you can do bright work, you can do everything with the metal. I really love polishing out steering wheels with this. It has made my metal game go through the roof with this product. It really is an amazing machine. So guys, kind of overall, I know that was kind of quick and you know, just kind of straight to the point. It's hot, I'm a little sweaty now. This machine is amazing. I, I, honestly, I would not go into debt if you don't have the money and you're swiping a credit card. I probably wouldn't go do that. But guys, if you're looking for a machine that can take your detailing to the next level um, and you have the money, go ahead and pick this machine up. It, it really has been that machine that is, I find myself using it more and more often, but I'm only using it on very specific uh, things like center consoles and stuff. This isn't a machine that you're gonna go buffing out the whole boat with. This machine has been good to me. I have not had any physical problems. I use the heck out of it. As you can see, it's dirty. It's got compound all in it. Um, it's actually, it's been rained on once, not a lot, but just for about two minutes sitting on a boat. So it has gotten wet, no issues. Um, and honestly guys, I think it's built the way flexes are built. I love the flex 3401 VRG. I've, I've owned it for about five years now and that thing has been through hell and back and they still run. They still power through flex is just a very good company and they build great products. So guys, in closing, if you use this product with the Lake country force pads, one inches, you can buy everything down below from detailedimage.com. If you sign up for a wholesale account, we'll both get a free $20 credit. So go ahead and do that. If you're a boat detailing company, well guys, in conclusion, this machine is uh, honestly, I believe it's a must have machine. If you're doing center consoles and just really tight areas, and you can also use it on cars, you can use it on boats, you can use it on RVs, you can use it on airplanes. You can use it with every application you have. So guys, if you have the money and you want that extra edge to be able to do that much better of work, go ahead and pick yourself up the Flex PXE80. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Hope to see you on the next video. Comment down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we look forward to seeing you on our next video.